Hi, and welcome to the Stack Tutorial. In this video, I'll show you how to create a really simple question in Stack for Moodle. To create a question, go to your Moodle course, and then scroll down to select Question Bank. Next, click on Create a new question, and then scroll down to select Stack. This is how the Stack interface looks like. It has a lot of options, but for this video, we'll just be focusing on the most basic. First off, you'll want to give your question a good name. I'll call mine my first question. Next, scroll down to question text. This is the text that your student initially sees. By default, it has two blocks, an input block where the student can put in their answer, which is then stored as the variable ants1. It also has a validation block where the student's answer is checked by the system, and then the system returns how it interprets the answer, so the student can check that it's what they actually meant. You can include latex inline math using slash brackets, or latex displayed math using slash square brackets. For this video, we'll be focusing on a really simple differentiation question. Differentiate x minus 1 cubed. Now let's scroll down to the input section. This has a lot of options for the student input. The only one you really need is to put in a model answer. In this case, if you differentiate x minus 1 cubed, you get 3 x minus 1 squared. Notice how we have to explicitly use asterisks for multiplication, kind of like you would on a calculator. Finally, scroll down to look at the potential response tree. A potential response tree has one or more nodes. At each node, you conduct an answer test between the student answer and the teacher's answer. And then depending on whether that test comes out true or false, you can do different things. This is very useful for giving specific feedback depending on the properties of the student answer, or maybe giving partial marks. The test AlgeQuiv for algebraic equivalence will get you through most of the time. It checks that the student answer and the teacher's answer are algebraically equivalent, meaning that the difference simplifies to zero. As you may remember, the student answer was stored as ants1, and the teacher's answer was 3x minus 1 squared. If that test comes out true, we'll want to set the score equal to 1. And if the test comes out false, we'll set the score equal to zero. Now let's click Save Changes and Continue Editing. If you've done everything correctly, you should be able to scroll all the way back down and click on Preview. Here you'll see our question. It has our question text. And if we put in the answer, you can see the validation box where we can see how our answer is interpreted. And if you click on submit and finish, you'll see that we got the question right. And you can also see the model answer. So that concludes this tutorial. You should now be able to create a really simple question in Stack.